I have a lot of opportunity to talk with our students and recent graduates and um, you know what I advise them might depend first of all on their own interests so what I hear from them um, gives me a clue as to what some of my best advice is for them now for some of our students if they say that they want to be a clinical specialist in a particular area or have a hospital based practice uh, very often the best approach then for them is to think about doing a residency and, and this is especially true for some spe specialties that residency is required but residency is not necessary for everyone in fact I think we uh, underutilize opportunities in other areas some of our graduates would be better served by thinking about an MBA or a master's in public health or a master's in health administration health information technology for example that can really open up some doors for them so what I am suggesting though is that the uh, they need to understand that getting their degree is not going to be sufficient for the next thirty years they really have to think and plan their continued learning uh, some of that is credentialing maybe board certification but there are very few pharmacists who are going to be able to work the next thirty years strictly on what they learned in pharmacy school they've got to have this uh, mindset of lifelong learning plan it out continuing professional development is a term you could use to express that uh, and think about what it is that they're going to do in the years ahead to stay relevant in our healthcare system so that would be my primary advice is to to think about that plan that uh, begin soon after graduation to uh, put into play this this approach to continued learning 